how to divide by decimal numbers. I am Anil Kumar and here is part 1. Here we are going to discuss single digit numbers. Let me start with taking three different examples which will be three different cases. The idea is to understand the process and therefore I am taking very simple questions. Let us divide by let us say 0 0.2 so that's a decimal number and let me write down a number here let us say the number is 42.6 right the next one we can take let's divide the next one by let us say 0 0.3 and let me take a number which is 7 6 and no decimal this time okay now the third one we will divide by 5 let's say we'll divide by 0 0.5 okay and in this case we will take a number which has two decimal places here let us say it is 3.27 okay so these are three different cases in one case we have a divisor which has tenth place and it is dividing into a number which also has a tenth place. The next one we are dividing a whole number by a decimal place and then the next one we have two decimal places to be divided by a single decimal place. Now the key here is that the divisor, the number by which you are dividing should not have decimal. So to avoid that what can we do? we can multiply both numerator and denominator in this case 0 0.2 and 42.6 by 10 right so if we do that then what happens if you multiply both by 10 the decimal moves one unit to the right one unit to the right right so what we did in this case was that we times it by 10 if you times both by 10 then it gives you the same answer right dividing both by 10 does not change the question but the idea here is to rewrite the question by removing the decimal from the divisor right so what we get here is 2 so move decimal one place in both then we get 2 divides into 426. Do you get that part? Right? So let's divide now. Normal division. 4 is 2 times 2 is 4. So we can write 2 on the top. So we get 2 times 2 as 4. And when you take away, you get 0. Bring down the next number, which is 2. 2 will go 1 time into, again, it is 0. Bring down the next number, which is 6 which goes three times so two times three is six remainder is zero right so we know 42.6 divided by 0 0.2 is 213 right so that is our answer so we can write down that 42.6 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 213 right so that's the first one now let's do the next one now in this particular example we are dividing 76 by 0 0.3 now if I move decimal one place where will this decimal go first thing is where is the decimal well always decimal is at the end of the whole number and after that you can add zeros as many as you want it doesn't change 76 76.0 76.00 are same numbers right moving decimal to one place really means multiplying both by 10 right so it moves one place to the right one place to the right so the question changes now and our question now becomes we are now dividing the number 760 when I position the decimal one place to the right it becomes 760 so now we have to divide 760 by 3 let's do it so if I divide 760 by 3, what happens? 3 goes 2 times, 6 
remainder is 1, bring down 6, 3 times 5 is 15, remainder is 1 again, bring down 0, 3 times 3 is 9 and remainder is 1. And so we can write down our answer for this particular question and that is 76, I can write 0, divided by 0 0.3 is indeed equal to 253 remainder 1. Correct? So that is how we can do. Now the last one for you. In this case, we'll again move decimal one place to the right so that we are dividing by a whole number, not a decimal. That's the idea, right? Strategy is divide by whole number. Move decimal. So we get a new question now, which is same as the earlier one. So the question now becomes, you are dividing by 5 instead of 0.5, a number 32.7 instead of 3.27. Do you get the idea? Right? So let's divide. 5 times what is close to 32? 5 times 6 is 30, right? When you take away, you get 2. Now, bring down decimal. As soon as you bring down decimal, in the quotient, write decimal. And then bring down the next number, which is 7. You need to divide 27 by 5. 5 goes 5 times, which is 25, and the remainder is 2. Don't bother about decimal in these cases, right? Only decimal will be in your answer, the quotient, right? So remainder is 2. So what do you get as your answer? So we get 3.27 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to how much? 6.5 remainder 2, right? So that is how you can divide, correct? Now, in such questions, one more thing you can think about, that is estimate, right? When you start dividing, estimate your answer. Point 2, it is much, much less than 1, right? So you are going to get answer which is more than 42 correct that's one way of looking into it second is when you move it to one place on the right the decimal you are dividing 426 by 2 so you are expecting answer which is half of this kind of correct in this case when you move the decimal to one place you are expecting one third of the number right so that kind of approximate 700 or 800 to one third get your estimate in the last one, you're dividing by 5, right? You know, 0.5. When you move the decimal one place, in both the cases, you're dividing 32 by 5, right? So 32 by 5, you're expecting answer close to 6. So have an idea about what kind of answer you should be expecting. Then divide. Remove decimals from the divisor. This is called the divisor by multiplying it by tens or hundreds or thousands depending on how many places are there. In our case we have one decimal place so we are multiplying by 10 in each case. Rewrite your question and divide. So that is the way you should be doing. In part 2 we will discuss how to divide when there are two numbers in decimal places. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.